the esports industry it's uh, becoming really kind of a mainstream thing I know like football teams like uh, PSG and you know a lot yeah. of kind of NBA teams are getting involved so uh, is it, do you have any views on the kind of industry as a whole and where it's going? Oh like as a whole I don't think anybody's going to go it's insane the animals that these guys put in are insane you know these sponsorships and now we're six, seven figures in some cases they get huge sign on bonuses all these football, football teams are getting involved like it's becoming really mainstream which is really exciting actually um, I genuinely think I could do better by like, coming up to these ideas and going to the brands themselves and trying to sell in our ideas. Um, so I went, back, I went back to Chris, we had like a few meetings in terms of the company. I think I had like £10 in my bank account at that point though. And I was like, okay, you know, doing a company is not smart. Um, you know, my dad was like, yeah, you should really accept the job in Germany because definitely a great salary. You know, it, it was an amazing offer from those guys and, you know, always appreciate what they, what they did. Um, I did accept the job. And then about a week before I was supposed to move to Germany, I rang them up and said, listen guys, I'm sorry, I'm gonna change my mind. I rang Chris up and said, yeah, let's just do the company. If it fails, it fails, you know, at least we'll give it a go. Influence marketing as a whole, it's, it can be very different to what you're gonna do. You know, you've got, you've got so many social platforms and anybody can be an influencer, right? You, know, you can be, you can have a hundred followers on Instagram, that's still an influencer. Obviously it, it scales depending on who you are and what you're working with. And, everyone's KPIs are different in this space as well. So like, the problem with this space currently is that there's a lot of agencies or people getting involved who don't understand the market. Did you have any struggles in the beginning as a business? And if so, how did you battle through them? Or was there, was there any moments that you kind of thought, oh, this isn't gonna work? Yeah, for the entire first six weeks of this business, um, when I had like no money in my bank, I was trying to juggle like Red Bull, Crytek and Kairos. We did not do a deal for the first six weeks. Uh, like no clients, no business, there was absolutely nothing. And I kind of said to my dad, I was like, shit, I might, I might have made a mistake here. Maybe I should have gone for that Germany job after all. But um, yeah, we signed a, a thousand dollar deal after six weeks um, and took 15% margin on it so we made $150 in six weeks which at that point I was like okay yeah we, we did a deal but it was really nothing um, then we got like a, a 20 grand campaign and then the next week was a six figure campaign so I was like okay this this is real money now it's actually you know legitimate and then from then we just scaled 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 you know ultimately just tried to do the best job we can for business we really care about the clients you know ultimately if we deliver a good ROI then we keep coming back to so yeah do it part time you know, do on the side. You know, most people work nine to five, and most people go to sleep like ten or eleven p.m. There's still five, six hours after work that you could pursue into something. And that's that's a long time. You can do a lot in five hours. So, yeah, I think it depends on where you are as a person, but and also it depends on your long-term goals. You know, a lot of people are happy just doing that nine to five, then they go out with friends. You know, they go drinking, they go to eat food or whatever it'll be. You know, when you've got your own company, you don't do that. I, I leave at seven. I leave at 7 a.m. I get in at 10 p.m. If you're looking to do, do your own company and you're in a position where you can do, and you're like debating it, like, oh, I'm not really sure, just just do it. Like you have ultimately nothing to lose, um, you know, and it could be the greatest decision. Like you will, you could change your life forever. So if you're in a position where you're debating it, then just do it. Um, just do it. Good luck. Let me let me know how it goes. And yeah, it's exciting. It's really exciting doing your own thing. You know, especially when it's something that you're highly passionate about. It is. You know, I'm, I'm doing silly hours, but I, I mean, I'm loving every single day. I, I don't get to the office and hate what I'm doing, you know. It is really enjoyable, and you get perks. You know, I went to San Francisco last week, for example, so it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just, just if you're in a position, just go for it, and yeah, it might be the best decision of your life, really.